Okay, that was sound and no picture. And uh, now, of course, we'll have picture, no sound. And now comes this bit. This is part of the passage. Now you're gonna, you'll hear a ghost. First thing is build up. See, it's first. Like uh, later on, later on, you'll see a ghost. I'll show you the ghost. But just now, listen close. It's a ghost coming. Up. simply by saying contrivances must have a contriver, designers a designer. They're all out of order now. complex, most likely even more complex than the thing he has created, and therefore something must have created him. What is this trail of water? This trail of water. You okay? Yeah. So the argument from design basically states that the universe must have a designer because all complex things we it rests on the fact that the universe is governed on a set of constants and if any of these constants are slightly out then life would not have occurred. Makes me nervous. I don't know what it is. Stannard is a philosopher who follows this line of reasoning. He writes about the number of different things that need to be exactly right for life to have occurred. The 
his, he had a super kestrel can. He had a can of super kestrel. Really? It's super kestrel good. It's like 9%. It goes up right here perfectly. Here, did, here, I'll read a page of this. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Realistic things interact if we did not have a mind at all. The universe is vastly more complex than anything we have made and therefore cannot have come about without a designer. There is, however, a more modern argument to keep the basic idea of the argument for design alive. All day in the day. Oh, great. I'm gonna make it, I think. One unbroken moment. So, for example, if you take a giraffe's long neck, that has come about because the food it eats is in a high place. The design of life is shaped by needs, by its needs to fit into its surroundings. The first major thing to note when deciding if this theory undermines the argument from design is that Darwin believed it did himself. What was that? Some sort of ropey thing caught against me. He, he stated that Paley's argument fails now that the law of natural Darwin says about the Big Bang is the one mechanistic in structure. The mechanistic structure in this case would be the theory of evolution. The reason it now fails is that the theory states specifically that everything which and if you told me that you believe that it did appear and that the billions of atoms. Don't just appear by a random chance. So, what about complex things in nature? And if you told me that you believe that it did appear. Sirens in the distance. For example, the essence of the shoe. Oh, man. So, there's fantasy land around it. I'm going to be the third deformed person. I'm being worn on a foot, right? They can't write about the mind. When someone decides to get out of it, the essence of men... They are separate entities. In the winter months of this year, Malky, dressed always in the same clothes, and his income now stemming from a head injury, was free to do little but walk the passage in his mostly pleasant condition of constant dazedness. Sometimes Malky bled from his temple, but the doctor said not to worry. Blood was just Malky's head sway of easing pressure. Malky didn't worry anyhow because he forgot to. He just mostly walked and ever so slightly smiled. Until the one day 